Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching, I do appreciate it. Now, what exactly are we doing here today? Let me tell you, this is a review video on the brand new TomTom Tom Go Expert by TomTom. Tom. Now, I've been very fortunate in my HGV career that I've actually solely used TomToms. I've had the TomTom Tom Trucker 6000, the TomTom Tom Go Professional 6200, the TomTom Tom Go Professional 6250, and now the TomTom Tom Go expert that's a lot of names to remember uh, before we go any further i must tell you that this is a paid review tom tom are paying me to to make this video and to uh well, they provided this tom tom as well for free that being said this is an honest review uh i won't be telling you any lies this is going to be the truth and tom tom i know you're watching this because you want me to uh send you a review of this video if you email me saying oh you need to remove this oh you need to remove that we will knock it on the head. I won't upload a video. This is going to be an honest review. This is the TomTom Tom Go Expert. If you want to know what I think, stay tuned. So let's talk a little bit about the product itself. So this is the brand new TomTom Tom Go Expert. You've got a nice sleek new menu. You can actually change the way it looks. You can have it so it looks like it did before, or you can change it to the new layout, which I have. It just looks so much nicer. Um, yeah, you have the traditional live traffic. You have updates telling you when there's traffic jams up ahead. It will give you alternative routes. Uh, you've got your weight, your, your height, your width restrictions. You can put your speed into it as well. And as well as your height, your width, your speed, you also get your UN regulations, your ADR tunnels, and also your city bands, which is new to the Go Expert. And of course, you get your TomTom Tom live traffic, you get your speed cameras on it as well, you get 50,000 POIs, uh, and it also comes up on when you plan a route, your, your fuel stations, your parking spots. Uh, it's, it's genuinely really good. Now, the biggest change for me is the processor. Uh, in my opinion, the 6250 was a little bit slow, quite sluggish. Didn't really do what you wanted to do when you wanted to do it. The new TomTom Tom Go Expert is four times faster. It's like so much more smoother. Uh, it calculates routes so much quicker as well. So if I just like zoom out, I can go to a random spot up here like, near Wakefield. H&H &H, Heck Pollington Lane, this is a place to go to quite regularly. I can just press go and within a few seconds it will calculate not only one route, but three routes. Uh, and I've done a speed test on the previous version and it calculates those three routes quicker than the 6250 actually calculates one route. It is so unbelievably fast and it's amazing in my opinion. Now we are actually outside at the moment. I mean, it's not blisteringly bright, but you know, that's on full brightness. It's quite bright screen. You can see it as clear as day in the truck. I've not had a single problem. I've had sunlight directly in my eyes. I can still see the TomTom Tom Go Expert. It's much brighter than the previous version. It's also got a louder speaker than the previous version as well. Not that I use the speaker because it's normally muted because it does my head in, but it is louder, it is brighter, it is faster, and it's bigger. I don't know if I've mentioned that yet, but the TomTom Tom Go Expert is a seven inch screen, whereas the TomTom Tom 6250, Go Professional 6250, is a six inch screen. So you can see the difference there, look. It's about an inch difference. Um, and when you first open the box and you see this, you do think it's quite big, but actually it's come in quite handy. Now, one of the things I genuinely like the most about this product is that you could be on a route or an unplanned route, doesn't matter, but you could be on a road and you'd be coming across uh, like a junction to say, for example, go left or go right. And without you even knowing that there's a bridge down there or a weight limit down there, it actually comes up on screen and tells you it's a little circle and it'll tell you whether there's a bridge with a height sign or whether it's a width limit or whether it's a seven and a half ton weight limit. It gives you a little symbol at the start of the junction. So before you've even gone down the road, you know that there is a width, weight or height or, or some sort of restriction that may enable you not to go down there. And I think that's actually really good because it saves you the hassle of going down there and finding out too late. I mean, yes, the signs should be on road signs, but just having it a, a little symbol is all it is, just a little symbol on the, on the junction. It just makes a world of a difference and it just makes you feel more confident when you're driving. And as I said, this could be, uh, you could have a, a planned route and it will still tell you, like on the left or on the right, or you can have an unplanned route and just driving freely, if you like, 
and it will still show you the restriction. And I genuinely like that. I think that's a fantastic idea. Now, other features, as with the TomTom Tom Go Professional 6250, you can do uh, wireless updates. Uh, it must have like a bigger Wi-Fi receiver in it or something, because it's three times faster, meaning you can download all those vital updates, all those road uh, updates a lot quicker than you could on previous devices as well. And of course, it's all wireless downloading as well, so you don't need to bring your computer to work or you don't even need to take this home. If you really wanted to, you can just grab your phone, tether it to it, and you can do the updates wirelessly on your phone. Now, talking of being tethered to your phone, the current version out at the moment does require you to be connected to your phone for the traffic updates. Now, TomTom Tom do plan on releasing a slightly newer version of this later on in the year, which will have a SIM card built in, so you can have your 4G and you can download um, all the traffic updates without having to connect to your phone. But for now, you have to connect to your phone. Uh, and as with the Go Professional 6250, the TomTom Tom Go Expert does have lane guidance as well. Now, I'm in two minds of the lane guidance, if I'm being completely honest with you. It's quite nice. It, it sort of really zooms in on the road that you need to be on, which is good. But in my opinion, it stays on too long. Um, you, you, you've kind of, you come off the junction, you're on the road now, and it's still zoomed in. And I, you have to either press it to take it off, uh, or just wait for it, which I do think takes a little bit too long. Uh, I mean, it's all right, but it's, it could do with a bit of work, if I'm honest with you, on the lane guidance. Now, while we're talking of things that are not too particularly clean on, as I said, I'm going to be honest in this video. I always am. Say, for example, I don't know, I want to go there. This is Tot Hill Services. So if I just say go to Tot Hill Services, there you go. It's going to come up the routes. Uh, we'll just take the default route here. Now, it comes up with your bar, which has always been there. It's going to give you your ETA, how long it's going to take to get there in minutes and how many miles it is. You've got parking and fuel uh, stops on the way as well if you wanted to zoom in and have a look at them. But the thing that I'm not happy with is this, <laughs> is this down here in the bottom right-hand corner. So on the Go Professional 6250, which this is replacing, you had the current time down there. So you had the current time there, your ETA at the top. Now I've looked in every single setting menu, I cannot find an option to turn the current e uh, the current time on. And that bugs me. I want to know what time it is now. I mean, yes, I've got a watch. Yes, I've got a tacker machine. Yes, I've got a display on my dash. But I would rather look, for me personally, I would rather look on the TomTom -tom to see the current time and the current ETA. And I'm sure that could be updated in a future, uh, in a future update, hopefully. Another thing I don't particularly like is the fact that you have to have blue. Um, I know blue is the TomTom -tom default color, but on previous devices, you can go into the setting menu, you can change the appearance, and you can have like a green or a blue or a pink or a purple. And it's little things like that, just a little bit of customization just makes it feel a little bit more unique and more sort of like bespoke to you. But um, from what I can see at the moment, and again, this could be changed in a future update, but from what I can see at the moment, it is purely blue only, I'm afraid. And of course, you've got your voice activation on it as well. So if you wanted to control your TomTom -tom via your voice while you're driving, so it was hands-free, be as safe as possible, you absolutely can. Uh, all you've got to do is say, hello, TomTom. -tom. I'm listening. Cancel route. Clearing route. And it's as simple as that. It's uh, really uh, quick, actually, a lot quicker than the previous one as well, which is good. So yeah, I don't want to make this video too long. This is the new TomTom -tom Go Expert. It's uh, very quick, it's bigger, it's faster, uh, brighter, louder, uh, and easier to use, I would say, uh, over the TomTom -tom Go Professional 6250. So the TomTom -tom Go Expert is currently retailing around about 400 pounds in the UK. Uh, is it worth the 400 pound? I don't know, I mean, if you're like me, you like to have the biggest, the best there is out there, then I would say it is absolutely worth the money. Uh, if I had to buy one myself, I would. Um, would I buy one over the 6250? You know what, I think I would. Like I said, this is bigger, it is faster, louder, brighter. It's just better than the 6250. So I 100% would get the Go Expert over the 6250. Don't even need that anymore. That can just go over there out of the way. <laughs> um, so yeah, TomTom Tom Go Expert, 100% recommend. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe. I'll see you soon.